Hello, it's Andrea from Make Believe Nails and we're doing a ocean scene today and we're doing it three-dimensional so this would be really good. We're using Get Nailed by Lauren McBride. It's a gel polish art set that we're doing um, but we're going to use some builder gel as well. So we're going to start off with our gel polishes. We're using Jungle Jive, Candy Kisses and Blew My Mind. We're also using Evergreen, Innocence, Silver Bells, um... And I think that's about it. And I'd rather be shiny, of course, and gem body. So I'm just going in with those. And what I'm going to do is do one layer of gel polish, then two layers of builder gel, then a, the second layer of gel polish, and then I'd rather be shiny on the top and get those ones that were just gel polishing out the way first. And our feature nail is the ring finger, which is this one. And we're going to do a little bit of an ombre to lighten that up so it's more oceanic, I think is the word. So, all them going in. And I have missed a bit out for I went for my tea, came back, sat back, sat back down and did um, the build gel and thought, oh God, I'm not recording. Oh well, sorry about that. <laughs> tea was nice though. So, this is the top, that second coat going on top of the builder gel now. Um, so, as you can see... Those colours are lovely. They just scream kind of summer. Um, and I'm putting them inside the coral reef oceanic scene. And what we're trying to do is we're going to, with that now, I want to build up like a three-dimensional, like, um, you know, like a Disney cell. You know, when they draw on a, a sheet of plastic and then they put a piece of plastic on the top with a bit more of a drawing and a bit more and then a bit more. And they end up with all those layers. Well, that's what I want to kind of do. So... We're doing that. So we're going to draw, we're going to hand paint um, in gel polish. Um, and then we're going to put builder gel on. And then we're going to hand paint a bit more, put builder gel on. And work our way down the nail from furthest away to right up close to us. To give us that aquarium look without the faff of oil. So here you can see I'm going in with my jellyfish. So wherever I can, if it's round, use a dotting tool. Makes sense, doesn't it? And I'm using my triple zero brush just to bring down some tentacles because I kept saying that wrong today and I got told off by R. Amy. Um, okay, so that one is now going into the lamp. I'm just getting all the other ones out now because they've been top coated and they're all ready. That middle one is going to have something else on it later, but giving everything a clean because I love gel residue wipe off solution, slightly obsessed. Um, so yeah, and then I'm going to start now on that feature now. So over the top of that jellyfish is my first thin layer of builder gel. Okay, so that's on there. Building it up, what we're going to do is build it up a bit at the cuticle and then the next layer that we do with the next bit of drawing, we're going to build that up so it slopes down into the tip. So we're not going at the same point of the apex all the time, and you know, because it will just look wrong. So now we're going to put the fish in. So I did start with silverfish, but then I didn't want silverfish. So I stopped with the silverfish <laughs> and I decided no silverfish. We're going to have orange fish. So totally changed my mind. So here we go. Just because I could see them better, you know, like it, it just look, you can see those loads better. So, and um, we're not doing any detail on these fish, we're just pulling out the back ends and giving them a bit of a triangle. Just because when we look at them, we know there's a jellyfish there and we know there's fish there, it gives the impression of it. So, that's what I'm doing there. Okay, so I get those all pulled out, and they're in that like classic kind of you know, V shape of how they travel or swim, travel, not in cars, um, <laughs> how they swim about. So yeah, that's that done. And then that goes into the lamp. Now, what you can see I'm gonna do here is now go over the top of that with build gel again. And the majority of that was behind what I'd already done and thinning out towards the edge. Now I'm going in with evergreen and I'm actually using a striping tool to make some seaweed just up the sides, just to give a bit more depth. And the darker colours I'm using towards the back. So that now goes in. I want whatever's wet to cure, because we're working on a really small space. I want whatever's wet to cure so I can carry on. 
um, saves smudging, saves me getting upset and crying, you know, when things go wrong, which they would do. So I'm just going in now with a bit of Jungle Jive f towards the front on those sides. Okay, so that's that done. And I'm, oh, there you go. What I'm gonna do now is bring some coral in and I'm using Candy Kisses to make my coral. So I'm using my dotting tool because it gives more of a knobbly bobbly effect, if you know what I mean. Coral is lumpy and you know, well, the ones I was looking at was. Now I don't know why I zoomed out here. It made no sense to me either. Um, but that is now one coat of Builder Gel. So now we've done that layer of Builder Gel and we're going in with some blue fish. I'm using my dotting tool again and I'm pulling out from the back to create those those little back fins. And then I'm going to go over with some silver bells from Get Nailed by Laura McBride and create some stripes, some movement in those little fish. Cleaned up anything then with my uh, gel residue wipe off solution. And now you can see I'm just mixing those colours lighter. So all the colours I've already used are getting mixed lighter. I've just put the eyes in with some gel paint as well. And now I'm putting some coral in with those lighter colours. So the lighter candy kisses, the lighter blew my mind and a little bit of lighter jungle jive. And then a layer of build gel. And then I'm putting some more seaweed in. And then I put some more coral in to go behind a fish I was going to do. Build gel and then I turned the nail upside down to level it out. Now these are my angel fish. Okay. So they were done in white. Fins pulled out the same while using, way using my detailer brush. That's the stripes going in. <coughs> and then I use a dotting tool to put a black dot where the eyes are. And then I'm going to use some yellow with a smaller dotting tool to put a yellow dot. And then I'm using a needle, a pin, with some gel paint to put an eye in there. Okay. And then I'm going to put some coral at the bottom and just up the sides. And then your last layer of builder gel. Hung upside down again for about 10 seconds just to get that level right. And now I'm going in with some crystal placement on that middle nail <coughs> and I'm doing an angel fish. So I'm using AB crystals and black AB crystals. I painted that out with Gem Buddy from Get Nailed by Laura McBride. Keeps everything stuck in place. And then I'm getting some black caviar beads to go round that fish. So thank you for watching this video. The finished nails do come up in a second. If you like my videos, please subscribe and like and hit the notification bell. Every subscription means the world to me because I'm just sharing what I love doing. Um, definitely got my mojo back for gel polishing. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye.